Alrighty, well, we're going to start talking about glucose and the transport or the import of glucose into the cells and how that happens. So first we're taking a look at this picture. Uh, we should know that glucose is the principal transported carbohydrate in the human body. And some glucose comes from the diet. Glucose can also be synthesized from a variety of sources and that glucose can be stored as glycogen in, in the liver. So this is not new information for us. Next we're looking here at the selective permeability of the plasma membrane and looking at glucose we can see that glucose cannot readily enter the cell. Now cell, all cells are surrounded by an external membrane which serves as a barrier between the internal and external environments. So glucose is going to need some way to come into the cell. So here we can look at uh, the import of glucose into the cell and uh, we should know that um, the uptake of glucose from the blood or intestinal fluid into the cells occurs by facilitated diffusion, not active transport. This is facilitated diffusion. And GLUT4 is one of the most important facilitated diffusion glucose carriers. And the action of GLUT4 is insulin dependent. So let's take a look at uh, this image. Note the uh, insulin receptor and uh, this is the ligand and uh, insulin would bind to this insulin receptor. And next let's look at this GLUT4 transporter and we can see that it forms a wall in the uh, plasma membrane. So just as a quick review, remember that um, the action of GLUT4 is insulin dependent and GLUT4 is one of the most important facilitated diffusion glucose carriers. So let's move on and talk a little bit more about uh, insulin and uh, glucose in the pancreatic cells.